in our previous sessions we have seen about data types in that we have seen there are two types of data types primitive data type and non primitive data type inside primitive data type we had seven types of data type and in that now we are going to learn about strings okay string is a very important topic because string is a concept in itself in javascript now we have already seen string is a primitive data type but we are having one more concept on string that is string objects okay many people are not aware what is the string object but we all know that string is a primitive data type now in this session we are going to learn string primitive and string objects and also we are going to see differences between string primitive and string object string is nothing but it is a built in object in javascript and it is actually considered as an array if you are aware of array you will be knowing that we can access the letters by using the index number so in the same way using strings also we can access the letters now if i just show you an example this is my name and for each letter i will be having this index number k will be having 0 h will be having 1 the same goes like this when i just want to access this first i can just write like this and i will be getting this output k you can see here let my name is equal to khanam this is not the array this is string because it is wrapped in single quotes so when i access this one i will get the output as k so in the same way when we use array and when we try to access this we will get the same result but strings are immutable when we are using arrays we can change the letters but when we are using strings we cannot change the individual letters strings are immutable which means we cannot change the strings whatever operations and whatever methods we apply to string we will not be changing the original string instead we will get the new string Okay, that you will understand when we learn about methods and properties in strings this you have to understand using strings we can access the letters but we cannot change the string now if i just show you an example now if i just try to update this first letter that is k for this we have got the result as k now for this zero position if i just try to give s here it will not be changed because strings are immutable instead of that if we apply any operations if i apply substring if i want to reverse the string it is just going to return me the new string okay, this original string will be as it is it will not be changed okay, now we are going to see different ways of creating javascript strings okay previously we have seen if we wrap anything in single quotes or double quotes that was treated as a string but there are basically three ways of creating javascript strings okay let us see first way is like this we will be using this new keyword with a string constructor this is string okay here it should be string string constructor and inside this we just have to pass the string now second way is like this using this string global object this is called as non constructor context and inside this global object we will be passing this argument whatever data we want we just have to pass like this okay this is also the way of creating string this is also the way of creating string and finally this is the third way of creating string wrapping inside single quotes or wrapping inside double quotes and this is called as string literal Okay, now these are the three ways of creating strings. Now, what is the difference between them? All will be giving me the same result. Khanam, Khanam, and Khanam. All these three will give the same result, but the difference between them is: first one is called as string object. We are using this new keyword, and this is called a string constructor. 
So this will be our string object. This second one will be our string primitive and third one will be also a string primitive. Now what is the difference between them? For all we will get the same result but the difference is in type. When we use type of operator and we check for the result, for the first one we will get the type as object. For second and third we will get the type as primitive. Now what are these primitive values? Now primitive values are nothing but these are the values at the lowest level of language implementation. Now what happens whenever we are using this primitive values, this particular value second and third, JavaScript automatically converts these primitive strings to string objects. So what happens? This primitive values it will be automatically converted to the string objects. Why this is happening? Because inside objects we will be having multiple properties and multiple methods. So once that primitive is converted to string objects, we will be able to use all the objects and methods which are available in string object that can be used in string primitives as well. Okay, this you really have to understand this one. Now inside the string objects, we will be having multiple methods and properties. So once JavaScript converts this primitive into string object, even this string primitives can use all the properties and methods which are available in string object. Okay, this is what it is saying. Because of this string methods and properties that a string object has, are also available on primitive strings. As it converts automatically, so all these things can be used on primitive strings. Okay, you don't have to worry about what are properties, what are methods we are going to see now. Now string object, inside string object we have property and methods. Now property is nothing but it is an attribute of a string. And method is nothing but these are the ways to perform certain operations on string. Now if I just want to get the part of the string, I want to reverse the string, I want to merge the strings. So these are called as methods. But in objects, if you are aware of objects, inside that property is nothing but it is a member of an object that associates a key with a value. Now if I just show you an example. This is f name, this is my key and this chiser is the value. This is the l name and this is the value. So key and value, these are called as properties, f name and this l name. For this object, we are having two properties, f name and l name. Now when I talk about method, it is also a property of an object, but that contains a function definition. If I show you an example, this is a property, this is l name is a property. This class is a property, but inside this we are having this function. Okay, you can use your another name as well. I have just given class. When this contains function definition, this is called as method in object and these are called as properties. But here in string object, it is an attribute of an array and methods are nothing but these are used to perform certain operations. Now because JavaScript converts string primitives to string object, these properties and methods are also available to string primitives. So you should remember this one, these properties and methods are available on string object. But as JavaScript converts string primitives to string objects, these properties and methods are also available to string primitives. Now these are called as properties and methods in JavaScript. Now in strings, this length is only one property, but this all which are enclosed in brackets, these are called as methods. Now all these property and methods we are going to see in next sessions, we will understand each method in string. These methods are very useful and when we make practical projects, these simple methods will be very very useful and also they will be used in middle, they will be used in entire projects as well. 
so there is only one property that is length and all this called as methods we have slice substring replace trim replace all this everything we are going to see now many of us will be having a question now if string primitive is directly converted to string object why not we use on the string object why should we use string primitive so the answer is we should always use string primitive okay there are two ways this is the first way i have shown using the string global object or using single quotes or double quotes but most preferred is this second one using single quotes or double quotes for everything we will be having the same result okay we are now if i write like this i will get the result as khanam if i write like this i will get the result as khanam why i am telling you to use string primitive because calling any methods on primitive is faster than calling them an object so when we are having object if we are calling any method like substring like slice whatever it is if i call on object it will be little slow but when i call on primitive it will be faster than object so always try to use this string primitives because all the properties and methods which are available on string object are also available on string primitives so it is always considered to use string primitives now let us see example on this and let us understand the basic difference between them i have opened my vs code editor now inside this first we are going to see the first way that is string object i will just come here inside this let me just write here string object our second way is using string global string global object and finally our third way is string literal now first i'm just going to create this let my name is equal to using this new keyword i will be writing here string and inside this i'm just going to pass here khanam for second also i'll copy this i will paste it here i'll just remove this new keyword let me just change the name here and third i'm just going to paste here i will be writing here one i will be writing here two and finally i will be writing here three directly i'm just going to write the string okay these are the three ways of creating string string object we are having only one way and string primitives there are two ways now for all this let me just write here log my name copy i will paste here and also i'm just going to paste here i will just change the variable to and here i'll be giving three i will save this now you can see for second and for third i have got the result as khanam but for this first one you can see inside string for all these individual letters i am having this position okay 0 1 2 3 4 5 5 and the length is 6 inside this you can see we are having all these properties and methods you can see all these properties are available as i told you for string object we are having all these properties we are having length this is the property and inside this we are having all these methods but for this second and third we have just got the result as khanam and khanam now what i am going to do i am just going to check for the type i will just write here log let me just write here type of my name one i will copy i will paste it here and also i will paste it here my name two and my name three i will save this you can see for first i am getting the type as object for second and third i am getting the type as string but you should always remember whenever we are using this one it is nothing but it is an object so inside this object we are having this property length and also we are having all these methods okay this all the methods we are going to see one by one 
Okay, now what happens? As I told you, this string primitives will be converted into string object. So after that, whatever properties and methods are available inside the string object that can also be used inside this string primitives. Now here, let me just write. I will be writing here console console dot log and inside this I will just con I will just use one property here. Let me just use two uppercase. Okay, this will be better. I will copy. Here I will be writing my name one dot two uppercase. Methods we should always use like this. Okay, we should always close in brackets. I will copy the same thing. Here I will be pasting my name two. And here I will be pasting my name three. I will save this. Now you can see for this first one also it is converted into uppercase. For second one also converted into uppercase and for third one also it is converted into uppercase. But as if you see here, only for string object we are having all these properties and methods. But as I told you, JavaScript will automatically convert these primitives into string object because of which we are able to use all these properties inside these primitives as well. Now if I just write here my name two dot. You can see all the properties. You can see all the properties are available here. Caret, car coded, point, concatenates with all these are available for this primitives as well. Now here if I just write here my name one dot, you can see all these properties are available for this as well. I hope you understood the difference between string objects and string primitives. Now, as I told you, we can access the strings. Now, if I just write here log inside this, I will be writing here my name 3, my name 3, 0 position. I will save this. You can see I got the result as k. Now, if I just write here my name 3 inside this 0, if I just try to change this one to s, I will copy this one. And here I will be pasting. Now instead of this, let me just write here my name 3. First, let me just change here my name. I will save this one. You can see even after changing this, I am getting the original string for this one. It will not be updated. But when we use arrays, this will be updated. But when we use strings, it will not be updated because strings are immutable. Okay, this is the difference between string object and string primitives. As all the objects and properties which are available in string object are also available on string primitives. That is the reason we always prefer to use this string primitive. Okay, that's all for this session. You just have to understand this basic concept on strings. Once you understand this, then it will be very easy to get started with string methods. Now we are going to see all the string methods. Okay, these are the string methods. This everything we are going to see one by one and also we are going to see where these are used. And once we make project on this, then you will be having a clear idea where exactly these methods will be used. Okay, that's all for this session. Thank you for listening. Have a great day.